A flawless race saw the number 8 TS50 hybrid of Sebastian Buemi, Kazuki Nakajima, and Brendan Hartley take second place, 51.524 seconds behind the race-winning number 1 Rebellion to close the gap at the top of the Drivers' World Championship. Mike Conway, Kamui Kobayashi, and Jose Maria Lopez in the number 7 TS50 hybrid had no realistic chance to challenge their LMP1 rivals due to their maximum success handicap, but completed a consistent race to earn third place and preserve a five-point lead in the World Championship. Toyota Gazoo Racing's lead in the team standings has been reduced to 33 points over Rebellion Racing, with three races remaining this season. Toyota Gazoo Racing TGR, is Toyota's racing company positioning motorsports activities as the basis of our quest to make ever better cars. From products developed through these activities to the establishment of the GR Garage, Toyota Gazoo Racing's motorsports activities have been promoted as a comprehensive method of increasing numbers of car fans. In 2020, TGR will continue to engage in a variety of motorsports activities, both in Japan and overseas. The WEC 2019-2020 season will be the last for the TS50 Hybrid, and we intend to secure a third successive victory at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. For the WEC 2020-2021 season, which begins after the 24 Hours of Le Mans, we intend to participate in the Le Mans Hypercar LMH class using a racing car based on the GR Supersport that is currently under development. In the WRC, we intend to overhaul our driver and co-driver lineup. The WRC will return to Japan for the first time in 10 years, with Rally Japan to be held in November. In Super GT, the Supra will return to the GT500 class for the first time in 15 years. As far as driver development is concerned, in order to nurture Japanese racing and rally drivers capable of competing on the world stage, we intend to promote the TGR Driver Challenge program in Japan, which integrates and extends our various existing programs. In addition, we will offer vehicles for rookie racing in Japan so that we can gain expertise from the viewpoints of this private team, which is composed of various drivers, and feed it back into our product development. With regard to products, we gave the new GR Yaris its world premiere at the Tokyo Auto Salon in January 2020. It is the second model in the GR series to be launched globally. The GR Yaris was developed out of a desire to once again create a genuine Toyota sports car. Master driver Morizo, the motorsports alias of President Akio Toyota, was involved in evaluating and testing the car from its initial development. Incorporating knowledge accumulated by TGR through its participation in the WRC, the GR Yaris was designed to deliver to customers the excitement of a sports 4WD. Going forward, TGR will continue to take advantage of its motorsports expertise in product development and seek to further expand the GR lineup. The 2020 Dakar Rally has reached the finish line. Firstly, I would like to offer my appreciation to all the competitors for finishing these 8,000 kilometers of tough roads. Nasser and Mathieu, congratulations for the second position overall with Hilux. It's unfortunate that you missed the second victory in a row, but your charge in the second half of the rally was really impressive. I will keep a space next to the 2019 Winner's Trophy in my office open for one more year. In addition, I celebrate our other Hilux crews, Giniel and Alex, Bernard and Tom, and Fernando and Mark for their finishes. I do believe Fernando enjoyed this challenge and the ability to fight at the front. I'm glad we could give him this opportunity. I watched him take on the challenge, facing many difficulties, learning to repair the car, punctures, and even rollovers. I would also like to congratulate Hino Team Sugawara and Sugawara, Somemiya and Mochizuki for their 11th consecutive victory in the truck category, 10 liter engine or smaller. I appreciate all the team members who work hard to build ever better trucks. Thank you very much. I also would like to extend my congratulations to Team Land Cruiser Toyota Autobody TLC for their seventh consecutive victory in their class. Christian and Jean-Pierre, congratulations. 
Akira and Laurent, congratulations for second. But I understand your feeling. Akira Miura sent me a message right after the finish. I would like to share his message. Stages in Peru were a bit more difficult. However, this year's Dakar used roads that are not used daily. Therefore, the roads were rough and there were many big rocks, so there was more risk of damage to the cars. It was tougher because we needed to concentrate all the time. Also, because we built the cars and trained the drivers sent to challenge Dakar in South America, which has gotten faster every year, we got so many punctures. This rally requires toughness more than speed. From this point of view, the stages are suitable for the Land Cruiser. This year's biggest achievement is that I could challenge Christian for the victory. Some may say it is not good to compete within the team, but I have done so for one year. Because of this mindset, I could drive with a totally different level of concentration and a well-honed sense. Then I was always thinking, how can I drive faster? I believe this is the very first time I reached the limit with the Land Cruiser. From his comment, I can fully appreciate the concepts of it's the roads that makes the cars, and both people and cars grow in the extreme conditions of motorsports. At Toyota Motor Corporation and the Toyota Group as a whole, we will strive to continue making ever better cars by traversing a wide variety of roads and terrains across the world. Thank you for your continued support. Today, Toyota, official partner of Energy Observer, former racing catamaran and an avid supporter of their project from the start, announces that it has developed a fuel cell system for maritime applications with its first delivery destined for Energy Observer. Toyota, a company aiming to develop a hydrogen society based on its challenge to establish a future society in harmony with nature, as stated in its Environmental Challenge 2050, was able to align with Energy Observer's mission and activities. From that common ground, the two have worked closely together on how a hydrogen fuel cell system could be adapted to maritime applications, which eventually led to the introduction of Toyota's maritime fuel cell technology and system. This was accomplished by using components first introduced in the Toyota Mirai, which were fitted into a more compact module suitable for marine applications. Energy Observer is set to benefit from the Toyota Maritime Fuel Cell System, capable of delivering more power, efficiency, and reliability as its tour route includes crossing both the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Toyota is exploring a new flight path for mobility through a new collaboration with Joby Aviation. Joby, an aerospace company that is developing and commercializing all-electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL aircraft to enable the deployment of fast, quiet, and affordable air transportation services. Air transportation has been a long-term goal for Toyota, and while we continue to work in the automobile business, this agreement sets our sights to the sky, said Akio Toyota. As we take up the challenge of air transportation together with Joby, an innovator in the emerging EVTOL space, we tap the potential to revolutionize future transportation and life. Through this new and exciting endeavor, we hope to deliver freedom of movement and enjoyment to customers everywhere, on land and now in the sky. Toyota Research Institute Advanced Development Incorporated will begin full-scale operations in all areas of the new office that opened in July of this year. We will strive for further innovation by creating an environment that enhances the performance of our employees. In addition, by leveraging the Nihonbashi location, we will further strengthen ties with local residents, universities, and startup companies worldwide engaged in cutting-edge technology development, and youth and young professionals interested in IT and AI. Toyota Research Institute Advanced Development Incorporated is a pioneer in developing software for automated driving at Toyota Motor Corporation. Our mission is to create world-class technology and build the safest car in the world, as well as strengthening coordination with the research results of Toyota Research Institute and research and advanced development within the Toyota Group. Activities include developing automated driving software, leveraging data handling capabilities, and creating a straight line from research to commercialization. At CES in January 2018, President Akio Toyota declared, 
It's my goal to transition Toyota from an automobile company to a mobility company, and the possibilities of what we can build in my mind are endless. Robots are one important example. Broadly speaking, Toyota intends to provide three types of mobility services through its robots. The first is physical movement, when humans and objects actually move through space. The second is virtual movement, when an operator's body or body part is virtually moved through a remote space via avatars or agents. THR3 is an embodiment of this. The third is emotional movement, whereby the previous two modes of mobility provide people with new experiences and encounters and inspire them emotionally. Toyota sees this as a form of movement as well. For each of these three forms of mobility, Toyota has a team engaged in robot development. We think there are important applications for future issues like providing proper care for the aging population, including helping caregivers reduce travel time, which is a physical barrier, while increasing communication time via robots, or helping caretakers enhance their abilities to do more for themselves. We want to use the technologies we have developed to help realize a society in which everyone will be able to maximize the time they have and live active lives.